Google Search Console is a fantastic tool that offers a lot of information about how your site is performing in search. And today, you'll learn about what is the impression metric and why it's crucial for success. But first, we need to understand the anatomy of a Google search result to see what counts as an impression. When you search on Google, the search results page gives you a variety of information. The most common format is the list of blue links with three main components, the URL, the meta title, and the meta description. If your URL appears in the SERP, it gets one impression in Google Search Console. But it's not always this simple, as Google often enhances search results with features like images, site links, knowledge panels, and people also ask sections. Each of these elements can generate additional impressions for the same URL. For example, if your site appears multiple times on the first page, whether it's in the main search results or as one of those extra features, each appearance counts as one separate impression. This means a single URL could rack up several impressions from just one search query, depending on where and how it's displayed on the search results page. Understanding these elements is key to grasping how your site is performing in Google Search. Simply put, an impression in Google Search Console is when a URL from your website appears in Google's results. Most times, it doesn't matter if the user scrolls down to see a site or even clicks on it. Just because your URL is included in the search results, it counts as an impression. According to Google, if a user has seen or potentially seen a link to your site in Search, Discover or Google News, it will also count as an impression. That's why we say the impression as metric is crucial, as it shows how often your site is shown to users, giving you an idea of your visibility in search. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, please consider subscribing. Our goal at SEO testing is to save you time so you spend less time pulling data into Excel and more time thinking about how to get more traffic from Google. Also, if you enjoy this content and want to see more like it, please leave a comment. Now, back to the video. While impressions are generally counted every time your URL appears in search results, there are some exceptions. For example, if the search results are presented in a scrollable or expandable format, like a carousel or FAQ section, the item must be scrolled into view to count as an impression. In these cases, your URL must be physically scrolled into view for an impression to be registered. If your result is buried on a lower page or further down the scroll and the user doesn't reach it, no impression is counted. In general, if your result is on the first page, you can safely assume it's getting impressions. But anything beyond that might need an active user engagement to count as an impression. Impressions are a critical indicator of your site's visibility in search results. If your URL appears in Google's results but isn't getting clicked on, that's a sign of a potential issue. Maybe your title or description isn't compelling enough compared to others, or perhaps your listing already answers the user's query and they don't feel the need to visit your site. Either way, low click-through rates, despite high impressions, suggest that something isn't resonating with users. This makes impressions an essential metric to monitor. They give you insight into how often your site is being shown to potential visitors and highlight whether your listing is capturing their attention. Now, if you want to make the most out of your Google Search Console data, use SEO testing to set up SEO tests and know what changes to your site increase traffic. We have a 14-day free trial for you to test it. Sign up using the link in the description. Thanks for watching.